The first Perth match of the controversial Legends Football League kicked off at NIB Stadium last night. The debate over the legitimacy of the sport was taken up by several spectators, which drew a crowd of around 3,000 people. With a crowd made up mostly of relatives and friends. Here's my sister, Elise Chapman, number four, is playing tonight and this she's amazing. <laughs> my girlfriend's sister's playing, so I've got to sort of say the right thing. While the concession stands may not have made a huge profit, these women were making a bold statement. The players like to call it the Legends Football League. In other circles, it's known as lingerie football. You've got guys doing swimming that do it in budgie smugglers. You see Tony Abbott running around in his jocks. I don't want to see that, mate. Last night, the WA Angels were playing the Sydney Surge, and like its parent sport, American Gridiron Football, there was plenty of razzmatazz. But in the true Aussie spirit, the players were fair dinkum. This is definitely a sport. I've seen my sister come home with bigger bruises than anything I've ever seen. And it's d if anyone thinks it's not a sport, it's totally wrong, because these girls could kick your Where at times wolf whistles were louder than the ref's whistle, Sometimes actions spoke louder than words. It's what's like beach volleyball and that, we're very little as well. So, and again, the girls look amazing. If you don't look amazing, you don't get to play. So, you know, it's one of the rules that go with the sport. They're awesome outfits. Um, no, they, they, look, they look amazing in them. And for the record, the Angels beat the Surge 20-18. to 18. Bob Hunt, 9 News.